going on YouTube? It's your boy Malding back again with 4 or 5. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I know I'm late with it, just been enjoying some time to myself and with family as well. But also, Happy New Year's. Hope your New Year's Eve is great. Hope your New Year's Day is great. For you that don't have to work, enjoy that time off. But this video today is just pretty much going to cover some of the things that I was fortunate enough to get for Christmas or just different cops that I was able to pick up during the holiday season and haven't had time to video. But without further ado, let's jump right in. One of the first things I got was from the last Supreme Drop. I was able to pick up a box logo beanie in white. Sold out super quick, of course, like everything else does. But first box logo beanie, one of the few Supreme items that I do own. Love it, absolutely love it. Have a few different beanies that I love already, but this is probably the thickest one that I have. Um, I think they retail if I'm correct for 36. If I'm correct, I think it's 36 for retail. Stitching is great on the box logo, of course. New era stitching, and then you have the world's famous in the back. Thick. I wore it on a nice cool day here in Minnesota with no problems. Ears stay warm, head stay warm, can't complain. Definitely will be picking up more colors of this one as well. And then, like everybody else, involved in some Secret Santas throughout the holiday season. And I was blessed this year by the Secret Santa. You know exactly who you are. You got me this black Supreme tee here. Add into the limited Supreme collection that I do have. This is a size large, fits me great. Actually, you might've seen it already. It was in the last video. This is the one I was wearing. And then also blessed me with a screw tee from this year. This one is a size medium. Haven't had a chance to try it on yet, but definitely will. Hopefully it doesn't fit too tight, but nonetheless, very, very grateful that you got this for me. And then the last thing, not the last thing, but one of the most notable things is this Jordan and Supreme collab tee in a large, my size exactly. This tee is dope as hell. And it definitely will be going with one of the cops that I got this holiday season. And I mean, nothing else really needs to be said about this tee. Not really gonna go into too much depth as people already know exactly what this is, but super, super hyped to have this. Love this piece already. Can't wait to put this in the rotation. Last Supreme item I was able to cop for myself. It wasn't a gift or anything else. But I had, like everybody else, struck out on the BOGOs. Really love the camo print this year with the white, brown, black, the cow camo print. But next best thing, was able to be fortunate enough to get this rib logo zip up hoodie. Pretty much exact pattern as the BOGO. Of course, not as prestigious as getting the BOGO, but happy enough to have this. This is actually my first Supreme hoodie. I am downright shocked at the quality. I never knew they were this good. You can definitely expect to see me picking up Supreme from this upcoming spring summer season. They're definitely gonna be in rotation for me as well. And you'll see the Supreme logo across the ribbing on the bottom. This is a large learning firsthand that Supreme definitely does fit true to size for me. No complaints whatsoever. That'll be coming into the rotation as well. But some of my favorite cops this year were the shoes I'm about to show you. Loved every single one of these shoes. Some of them were from trades, some were from gifts, and some were just downright lucky. But first one I was able to pick up here, classic Jordan box. Was fortunate enough to pick up these Dornbacher threes. And story behind these, was able to get the black white V2s and fortunate enough that somebody locally didn't want these and was able to trade my black white V2s, the Yeezys, and cash. Well, I actually trade those for these Dornbachers and cash, so I think I definitely won that trade. But let's jump right in. Size 12, of course. This is the 2010 edition of the Dornbachers. These are pretty much worn, maybe just to try on. There is a little yellowing, of course, just because of the age, but I've already laced them up. These definitely will be going into rotation soon. Absolutely love this shoe. The details, I never noticed right off the bat that the uh, kid's name is in the pattern on the upper, spelled out cold through the diamond pattern. Super, super dope. Hidden details behind the pull tab as well. I mean, this shoe is dope as hell. Uh, I was able to finally get these, knock these off my list, which only leaves me with about two or three pairs of threes that I still want just from my overall collection, but very, very happy to have those. Next cop, uh, just blessed with a friend who had these sent around, knew I really wanted them. Thank you, Eli. And was able to get these for retail. Supreme, Jordan 5s, the camo pair. 
pair I've been wanting since I had it in my cart on Supreme. One of the first Supreme items I actually did want. Like I said, I'm pretty new to Supreme, don't have too many pieces, but very, very fortunate to have this in the collection. Absolutely love these. These shoes are dope. They're a standout piece. And if you ever see me rocking these, everything else that I have won't be pretty basic because I want these shoes to stand out. That's how dope they are. I love the material, very reminiscent of the material from the Olive Fives from way back when, or from the Bel Air Fives if I'm correct, it's that same type of material. And just a camel pattern. This shoe itself has a great, great camel pattern on it. The other shoe has a little less camo hits, but nonetheless, the color, the tone, everything else about it, the contrast of it, you know I love contrast, love this shoe. And of course, Supreme Jumpman hang tag. The video isn't gonna get too into detail, like a review video, it's just to cover some of the pickups that I've had during this year. So very, very fortunate to be able to get those for retail. Then the next one, beautiful as well. Another pair of Retro 3s. I was able to pick this up as well. These True Blue 3s here. A lot of people hated on this shoe, thinking the leather quality wasn't that great. I severely have to disagree. The leather wears in pretty well. I've seen worn pairs. I had to pass on Black Friday because of another cop I'll show you in a second, but happy to have these in the collection. Got them for a steal as well at work. The benefits of working for Finish Line, but Nike Air on the back, that's what matters most. All my threes, with the exception of the DBs, will have Nike Air. Just waiting on the rest of the pairs that I need to have Nike Air on the back, like the Fire Reds. And then one won't, but that's the cool gray. It's the last two that I really want. A lot of people complain about the red behind the tongue. I don't know why. We always want the OG, and then when they give us exactly what's on OG, people complain. I just don't get it. Elephant print on this is great. Leather is honestly just as good, if not better than the 2011 pair. I really don't care what most people think. These are dope. And we also get Nike on the sole, which I'm not gonna complain at all. It's a little bit better than the 88s in that, in that regard where the 88 white cements still said Jordan on the bottom. You got Nike on the back, the first three to be retro with Nike on the back in a long time, but didn't really give us that full retro. Nike did a great job here. Also gonna have the Nike Air on the insole as well. Love this shoe. This will be one of those everyday shoes that I'll wear a ton. Usually don't tend to wear shoes that frequently back to back to back, but I can definitely see myself doing that with these. So next pickup, pretty sure all of you are familiar with the GOAT raffle or the GOAT app. They had a raffle, you get a couple of tickets, you add a ticket to a shoe, you can get a couple more entries by sharing it across various social networks. I was fortunate to be one of, uh, I think, a thousand winners and with 45 tickets on the shoe, I was fortunate enough to land the Soul Box Ultra Boost. Uh, this shoe is dope as hell in person. One of these when they first came out, but like a ton of other people due to the limited, limited nature of this shoe, just simply struck out. I wasn't about to pay re resale prices for this shoe being upwards of 450, 500, 550 and just rising, especially in my size. Just floored that I actually got the email, was sitting here playing my video game and next thing you know I read my email and it says congrats and next thing you know I'm, che I'm checking out a pair of these so it's really really an honor thank you go not that you'll be watching but thank you for the chance to actually win these shoes but without further ado pull these out completely dead stock dope dope shoe love that it's uncaged which is definitely different I don't have any of the uncaged uh, ultra boost but very very happy to have these of course had to go with the rope laces in this with the red hits on the bottom even though it says it's max orange or something like that this definitely looks right to the eye if you are familiar with ultra boost you know just how comfortable they are you know they're one of the best shoes of the year if not the nmd i'm not a huge fan of the nmd but love this shoe nonetheless just that full full length boost on the bottom insole red hits on the insole saying consortium just comfortable lacing systems a little strange i learned that when i was changing the laces from the base flat grays but nonetheless just a dope dope shoe maybe one day i'll go with the red laces but for now definitely keeping the gray laces in this one and then my favorite pickup of my entire christmas haul came from my girlfriend the she blessed me with a pair of 750s a pair of these gray gums here absolutely love this shoe first thing i caught me on guard about these gray gums are the size of the 750 box i mean the box is huge like ridiculously huge but they would get them from soul supremacy 
no complaints whatsoever. Finally got the one pair of 750s I really, really wanted. And yeah, uh, knocking off grails one shoe at a time. This holiday season has been great for me. Suede quality on these after having these first, this first 750 I've ever had a hand. Suede quality is great. Boost feels great on the inside of the sole. Definitely much more stable and firm compared to the 350s, but nonetheless, these are comfortable. Zippers work well. I know that was a problem with the original colorway, but everything about these is dope. Uh, only a few more Yeezys and I feel like I'm complete and I don't really have to keep chasing these things down. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more. Again, babe, thank you for these. You're a blessing and I love you, but damn, these shits look good and great. They look great in person. Can't wait to get these in some outfits. Can't wait to definitely take shots with these. These shoes are some of the dopest that I have. This is definitely one of my top five cops of the year. I'll probably do a video on that as well, just top five cops of the year or top five releases of the year. Definitely stay tuned for that. But just wanted to go let you guys know what I was able to get for the holiday season. Let me know what you guys were able to pick up in the comments. And again, happy new year to everybody. Hopefully your new year's and your Christmas was as great as mine was. Much love to all of you. See you guys in 2017. Peace out, YouTube.